What's up guys? So, my protein and my vegan have asked us to sample their vegan supplements. So what we're going to do now is instead of using non-vegan supplements, we're going to switch them out for the vegan supplements. So we've been doing this for a couple of weeks. The vegan stuff, it takes a little bit of getting used to. Generally, they're, they're pretty tasty. Tom, you like the, the vegan, the clear vegan isolate, the isolate. That's one of your favourite ones. I like stuff that tastes fruity and sweet and yeah, it's vegan and it's watermelon. <laughs> the little snacks, these are actually quite tasty. I like them with my coffee, um, with the, the baked cookie dough kind of cookies. They're quite tasty. I've switched it up to the whey protein blend. Like whey protein is whey protein. I don't find whey protein overly tasty, but I just have it because it's part of our diet. It's what Nathan um, programs in for us. So it has been going okay. Our strength is actually, as we would expect, it's not, nothing has happened. The progress is still the progress, you know. Nothing should happen really yeah. when, when, you, when, when you're just taking out supplements. You're trying to get healthier in yourself, not, well, you shouldn't ever get weaker and we're not getting weaker, yeah. so that's good. Is if it, we did get weaker then, yeah, we'd be uh, yeah. very worried. At the end of the day, guys, you're not daft watching this, so you know protein is protein. It's just whatever your beliefs, whatever your morals, or whatever it is you want to follow, there is other options, and that's all we're trying to say is, if you're not a vegan, you can stick to your my protein, the the normal way protein. If you if you guys are uh, vegans or vegetarians, there's a plant-based uh, whey protein source, which is awesome because nowadays it's a lot more popular. You know, going vegan. Veganuary, which is the campaign that we're kind of doing at the moment. By no means we're vegans and we're not promoting that, but what we're saying is there is a choice and it's just great that the companies like My Protein and My Vegan give you that choice to get the gains, just like Big Tommy. I mean, it's a bit of fun as well. I don't think you get this in the actual normal. No, the normal, normal section. And you know, I like, this is actually a watermelon and this is actually a strawberry one and I like this. So you don't get this in the normal one. So yeah, it's a wee bonus to try and like I said, it doesn't affect just so easy. I'm gonna put um, three scoops of uh, vegan whey protein. As you can see, it's nothing different. All it is is just the, the protein source is plant-based. Um, it's a bit better for your digestive systems and stuff as well. So, so we've just had the mulligans up as well. Um, Jordan and Eve Mulligan, and they were buzzing with it all because they're vegans. So, so we do have friends that are vegan, we're not against vegan. Oh, wife that's a vegan. Cause she went vegan for pregnancy, so, you know, we're hopefully gonna try for kids and stuff, and she was looking into it. Um, and actually, going vegan was one of the things that the, the doctors suggested. So she's a vegetarian, but with um, different hormones, different additives and, and food nowadays, um, the doctor said going vegan might help. It didn't, so <laughs> I don't know what that means, but um, she went vegan for a few months. What I notice, in all honesty, is when I'm eating quite a lot of red meat, a lot of steaks, um, it's quite hard on my kind of digestive system when I'm eating a lot of red meat because I'm quite gassy, should we say. So I'm a little bit smelly. Apologies. Someone once told me, I don't know, I haven't fact-checked it or anything. Maybe I should start fact-checking things. But um, beef takes longer to break down in the stomach. Yes, that is correct. Oh, there we go, it's a Tommy Nathan fact. told me that actually as well, so. Oh well. Well, if Nathan says so, that says something. So obviously if you're taking longer to break down your food, then you're using up more energy as well, so. Um, it's gonna sit in your belly uncomfortably. <laughs> we're not saying change, whatever, we're just giving you an option. So we're gonna have, I'm gonna have the shake. We've got, what are we doing today? Nice. Leg day, so what are you trying to hit today? Have you got a? Um, Maybe 320 for reps, I think it is. Mm. Doesn't taste anything different. It's just a chocolate protein shake. Yeah, so we've got squats, we're gonna film a bit of squats. This video will go out on, on a Friday, so a week today, we have got a big surprise. There's gonna be an influx of certain people to the Highlands. We're coming, there's a big surprise coming. So before you did this diet thing, uh, what did you think a vegan was? What was the stereotype around it? Uh, no meat, no protein, just lettuce and like, yeah, just kind of that kind of food. You know, I thought it was just a lot of green food. Um, there wasn't, you couldn't get any kind of proper protein into you. And a lot of it would just be carbs, which is, mm 
good for a straw man and that, but not in that healthy kind of way that you need it. So I thought it was that, you know, even potatoes, I thought, you know, you can't really, they've never made a bit milk, butter, or whatever it is, and I thought, like, you can't even eat stuff like that. So, yeah, I thought it was a really a kind of impossible thing to do, you know, so. And I think, like, with, with the, the vegan thing, you know, I, I always had a view that it was, like, people going on a fad, you know, it was like the designer thing, going vegan was, the end thing, um, and it certainly was for a while, but but now you notice it a lot. Obviously, spending time a lot of time with the, the Mulligans, so chatting to them about it, they've said that the the supermarkets have, have really bought into the plant-based food, and I've tried some of it, and it's not bad for me. I, I don't dislike it, um, but I just always just like associated vegan or vegans with like you know more of the the spiritual vibes, more of the kind of peace and love and all that stuff um, because they don't want to hurt animals and um, everything else but it's, it turns or it's seeming that it's becoming more and more popular now um, for whatever reason and I think again it's not up to us to say that it's the wrong thing or the bad thing because we try and promote that it's your choice to do anything that you want to do you know you shouldn't be forced to do anything um, especially in this current climate, you know, it's if you want to become a vegan, if you want to be a vegetarian, if you want to eat meat, if you want to be whatever, then it's up to you to, to make that decision. But you've got to own it, you've got to take full responsibility in what you do. So, you don't just want to do it and just follow someone for the sake of it. You exactly. know? Being around the Mulligans as well, they're strong. I always thought vegans wouldn't be able to get you strong and not fit and stuff. Well, <laughs> I mean, Jordan doing the 180 kilogram stone as a vegan, you're like, well, mm. yeah, there's, there's, there's food there you can eat, but then. Then finding obviously the my vegan stuff like this, you know, I never thought you could get protein, like I said, or isolate, way isolate in vegan, and now you can. So I drink this kind of stuff a lot. It's just like a juice to me, mm. vegan, non-vegan, whatever it is. If I put that in a in a glass and someone drank it, they wouldn't even know it's vegan, and it's better, like I said, for the uh, digestive system as well. If you, especially because me and Luke eat a lot of red meat, there's no harm changing a shake to a you know mm. a vegan one, better for your belly. There's none of that dairy milk in it and stuff as well. And you know I don't use milk either, so it's you know, some of the stuff we are doing automatically in our heads without us knowing is vegan. Mm -hmm. You just don't need, you don't, we don't need to say kind of, like I said here, we're not going vegan, we're just making it better for ourselves mm -hmm. health-wise and stuff. It's part of our our job to kind of analyse different things as well. You know, if, if having a few vegan meals in our diet is better for performance, then that's something we've got to look at. You know, we, we can't be closed off to that. We're not saying that it is and we're not saying that it isn't, but Nathan has put in before we even did this uh, a vegan shake for us so that says something so it's again we've got to do this as as my protein athletes we've been asked to do this so we're we're delving in we're you know experiment experimenting with it you know the documentary was it the game change or whatever it was it's not like a documentary like that at all well, i asked to change food because at the end of the day we wouldn't change food because we're you know strength athletes straw men for a reason but we we're always up for changing like supplements and maybe you know changing meat fixed things stuff that won't affect us training or won't affect our strength we'll you know we'll try and we're open to and like i said you might have positive results negative results but you need to try it and see you know it might you say it might be better for your body so yeah, yeah. anything like that is a good one for me as long as it doesn't affect what i do in the gym yeah but so far it's not it's not made yeah nothing's not made any yeah any negative changes, you know. And our progress, our progress is still there. You know, you can see it in our in our YouTube videos. Our deadlifts is going up. Our our kind of event stays full of energy. So, it is my belly doesn't feel as sore even now with the mm. drinking these shakes. You know, like I said, I get a lot of digestive problems with the amount of food. Look, does everybody does that eats and mm. taking a bit of pressure off your belly by eating a dairy free product and vegan products are good. You know. You like to touch this on it, don't you? Yeah, I like it, because it's mine, sorry. <laughs> anyway, so that's our um, update on our uh, My Vegan, My Protein uh, supplement change. So again, we're just going to do this for the month of uh, Veganuary or January and see how it goes. So we'll update you again next week with the big surprise that we've got with um, the influx to the Highlands. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, it's not our normal video, but as again, we're open to learning different things and I think education is key and knowledge is key. So thank you for watching, guys. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling! -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling. <laughs>